Hey, Joe Gilder here. I am driving back home to Nashville from Atlanta. Just left a couple day meeting there and I'm heading through beautiful Chattanooga. Isn't it pretty? Look at that. It's gorgeous. Anyway, don't tell my wife that I'm shooting a video while driving. Um, but what I want to talk about is I just finished a great book called The Martian. Now, stick with me. It's a fiction book. It's a novel. And I don't read a ton of fiction. Um, but this one was just great. Uh, the, towards the last hour of the book, my heart was pounding like it got intense. And I was super into the book. And uh, it ended really cool. So it, it's... Um, it's, the book's called The Martian. I believe Andy Ware is the author. You'll have to look it up. But uh, it's they're going to make a movie about it with Matt Damon later this year, um, which should be awesome. But the whole premise of the book is this astronaut who got stranded on Mars. They thought he was dead. They evacuate in the middle of this big sandstorm, and it turns out he's alive. But once they evacuate, they can't come back. Um, and he has to wait for the next Mars mission, which won't be there for two years or something. So, it, I mean, it, it just the premise of the movie is awesome because now he is having to figure out how to survive. He's got, you know, a habitat, a hab that he lives in, um, and they have supplies, but it was all meant to last a month. And now he has to make this work for two years. And it's, what struck me, and what I, the reason I'm telling you about this, you know, I don't write Martian content, so that doesn't relate, but I was really struck by how decisive he was and how he broke everything down into this is what I'm going to do next. So, to get, I'm not going to spoil the movie for you or the book. Um, to give you an example, um, his, at one point, you know there's an airlock when you go from a pressurized area out into space, right? Or the, the atmosphere on Mars is so thin you have to go through an airlock to get in and out. Well, at one point, his airlock just blows up and sends him flying, you know, 100 meters away from the habitat. So you think, oh, you're done for. You know, blew a hole in your hab. Now you have no pressurized place to live. You're going to run out of oxygen or whatever. But he... You know, after freaking out about what happened, he calmly, and you're reading like his journal entries or his logs for the mission, so you get to kind of see inside his head, but he methodically says, well, I have to do this next. And that's what he does. Instead of saying, I have to do this and this and this, and oh my gosh, when that happened, it would have ruined this thing that I was working on. Now I'm going to have to figure out a way to fix that. He may say that, but then he stops and says, well, the next thing I have to do is this and here's why. And then he does it. And then he says, and now the next thing. And it's almost like if you're one of those people who gets really into books and movies, um, like I do, you get really emotionally involved in what's happening. And I would start to get tense and stressed out and feeling what I imagine I would be feeling in that situation. And then him simply just talking through it and saying, this is what I'm going to do. I relaxed because he had a plan of what to do next. He is in a horrible situation, right? horribly complex, very little hope, but he says, okay, what's next? So if you get easily overwhelmed, I, believe it or not, I get easily overwhelmed, or at least I go through seasons where everything seems like a big hassle, and it seems like there's too much to do, and I'll never get it done, and it tends to make me a little paralyzed and frozen. If you're like that, hopefully that little story will help you realize that a lot of it is not as complex as it seems, or you can at least take your mind off of all the stuff you have to do, for example, on a album project that you're working on that seems like it'll never be finished. What's the very next thing that has to be done? I've talked about this before. What's the one thing that you gotta get done next? The most important thing or the, the one thing that you can't do anything else until that thing is done? Once you figure that out, life has become easy again because all you have to worry about is doing that one thing. So there you go. It's not every day I talk about Martians and astronauts and pressurized hubs or habs or whatever. So this one was a little off the beaten path, but hope it was helpful for you. Go figure out what you need to do next. Get in the studio and have some fun.